be really helpful. And I guess while you do that, I'm gonna go search for some more supernatural hotspots because I always get the scary job. I always get the hard job. I'm Sally Face. Happy day on <laughs> Yesterday in the comments, you wanted to know what happens next in Sally Face. I wanna know too. We're gonna keep the train going because that's the call. And you guys know that I always listen to the call. So right now we are going to find Todd. Now Todd is usually a very rational person, but there is some spooky extraterrestrial, no, well not extraterrestrial. There's some spooky supernatural stuff going on in this building. Why did this become, what is this, Russian? And this is Chinese now? Do you guys remember the last playthrough? It was like, warning, don't come up here, we're doing renovations, and now it's different. Like, some spooky stuff is going on, it's not right, and we're gonna find Todd and talk to him about it. He's usually rational, but hopefully he'll believe me and not think I'm an idiot. I think he might be on floor three. We'll do a little check -a I hope he believes me. I hope he doesn't laugh at me and think I'm stupid for believing in all these ghosts. But me and Larry both saw these ghosts on different occasions. So here we go. Todd, you home? Todd, please let me in. Ah, uh, hey, Sally Face. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley here on <laughs> life. Have you two met? No, I haven't. She's very pretty. What are pretty girls doing here? Hey, I'm Ash. Hi, Ash. You're so gorgeous. Boing! You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. Uh, uh, me? Uh, you have? Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Okay, um, I, I need a minute? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too, or uh, you too. Uh, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well, okay? I don't really talk to pretty girls very often. Well, I'd love to stay and chat some more, but I've gotta get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. <laughs> no problem. We can work more on algebra next week. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be... That'd be wonderful. Enjoy the weekend, boys. Bye. You too. Oh my goodness. Why didn't you tell me you were tutoring? I, I didn't, what ghosts? Why didn't you tell me you were tutoring her? Mm, are you all right, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm good. I, I'm cool, I'm cool. Mm, okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What's she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. <laughs> In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. Oh, she's artistic too? She sounds like a great friend. Oh, I can't breathe. Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley though, so what's up? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, that, okay. Uh, I see dead people. I, don't tell Ashley. Please. I need your help, or do you believe in ghosts? I'm just gonna start with I see dead people. Todd, I'm gonna say I need your help first because this Todd guy is very rational. I, I'm very nervous. I, I'm not feeling like myself right now, so I'm just gonna say I need your help. I need your help. I need to change my shirt, and I can't get it over this mask. And Ashley, uh, wow. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh? Really? I did not expect that coming from you, Todd. Yes, it does seem to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, though that is only speculation on my part. <laughs> do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah, I do. Perfect, let's go check out the bathroom. All right, come on Gear Boy, you better go off. Otherwise, you're gonna make us both look stupid. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the gear boy always light up when she's near? Um, it doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out and sometimes she doesn't. A little unpredictable. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Uh, hello? Is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're your friends at prom. Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, not this again. Nothing is happening and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. Wow, you are, you're a clever boy, aren't you? I will need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception and second, something to boost its electrical output. So like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure. I'll be in my room once you're ready. All right, where the hell am I gonna find an antenna and a battery pack? I don't know. 
but it's got to be done. Oh, Todd smokes a little hookah, and he has little baby pictures in his living room. That's nice. Todd's parents' room? Can I go in? Todd's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. Yeah, okay. Todd? Bob. I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I needed more nature in my life to counterbalance all of this technology. They're hippies. He is cute, though. All right, I'm gonna go find the things. Where can we find? I just heard some coughing in Todd's parents' room. Lisa is sick and they're sick too. Like, why are all the adults sick right now? It's kind of freaking me out. <coughs> Ew, stop! <coughs> Harley's old place. Now, last time I came through here, I didn't want to go in the bathroom because he took a giant donkey shit in there. And so I'm going to see if I can go in there now. The smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Okay, fine. Maybe Larry has something he can give me. Hey, Chug. The vending machine, maybe? Looks like the machine is empty. Yeah, so is my tummy. Yeah, I know how that feels. All right. Larry, I need an antenna and a bat. Okay. There's an antenna right here. Larry! Is your mom okay? I'm just gonna make small talk. Yeah, she'll be all right. The change of seasons always gets to her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. Okay. I'll be back. Hasta la vista, Sally. I guess I can't just steal the antenna right off his radio. I'd like to, though. What's a friend if you can't steal his antenna? The cabinet? Nothing useful. Well, how do you know? Why don't we check? Have you seen any ghosts lately, Chug? No, not really. I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just stay in my room most times. Have you ever seen a demon with red eyes? I know that's kind of a scary question. What? Heck no! Are you trying to give me nightmares? No, I'm sorry. See ya. See ya. Sorry. Um, maybe I'll go to Todd's place and see if there's anything that I already have that we can use. Because I just really don't feel like... I'm gonna find anything. I've already- I've swept everything. Hey, you! Will this work for the reception? Okay, the key card, the walkie-talkie, maybe the walkie-talkie? That antenna's a bit too small for our purposes. What about the power? Will any of these work for the power? Yes! Yes! The battery from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. Oh, th thank you. Okay, so for reception... We need something else. I just need to find something for reception. I just need a long antenna. Where can I find a long antenna besides Larry's room? It's the only place that I've actually seen one. Let me take that antenna. <gasps> yeah! Hey, uh, mind if I borrow this antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! We have the things we need! Yes! Up to 202! Where Todd lives and he's gonna help me and we're gonna talk to ghosts and it's gonna be real fun. Hey, Todd. Look what Sally's got! Will this big, long antenna work for the reception? Please say it will. Yes! This will work perfectly. With the two components you retrieved and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the Gear Boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get it ready. Perfect! Great! Awesome! Let's talk to dead people! Okay, all set! Behold! The Super Gear Boy! I love it. Oh, maybe I don't. Um, cool? Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode while this strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. It's the only fun I have, okay? However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that's all right. Larry's not gonna be so happy about that. It's okay though, it's for a good cause, I suppose. Wonderful. Now. For the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. Oh great, so I'm gonna walk around looking like an idiot? To do so, press the shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. <laughs> While it's flashing, press that R button there to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay. I think I get the gist of it. So shift, if I feel like it's a good spot, and then R, if it looks like a good spot. Okay, I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Yeah, okay, Todd. Don't do anything creepy in the bathroom with me. Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold up the gear boy by pressing shift. <sighs> here we go, I'm nervous. Is there gonna be a ghost here? We're gonna find out. Ah! Ah! Hmm, maybe I... Ah! Oh, 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 no! Oh. He's a crying man! It worked! Holy crap. Hello, what's the matter? Oh, I 
never thought he'd kill them. Uh, it's all my fault. Who? What are you talking about? Stacy and her daughter. Oh God, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. When I found out the secret of the gear boy, this guy, he fell in love with a married woman and then the guy, the man came home and killed them both. So maybe this is that story and maybe they lived here in this apartment. Well, if it makes you feel better, it's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? <gasps> we can never leave. What? What do you mean? You can't pass on? <laughs> What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no! What? What is it? It's eerily quiet here now. He's here. What? Who? The red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? Who? They're, they're all scary. They're all equally scary. I have to go. I'm sorry. No! Ah! No! Oh, boy. That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories and a whole nother to actually experience it, huh? I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today. So I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful, and I guess while you do that, I'm gonna go search for some more supernatural hotspots, because I always get the scary job, I always get the hard job, I'm Sally Face. Perfect! Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out to make sure it's okay. Uh, what do you mean? First, I'm gonna go to the fifth floor and I'm gonna try to spawn Megan, and then we're gonna go to Larry's kitchen, because I've also spotted a ghost in there. All right, Megan. I'm ready for you. Megan? 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 Megan, you never, you never call me anymore, Megan. I thought we were friends. Anything? All right, nothing there. Cool. I guess I'm gonna go see Larry. How anticlimactic, I really thought that something was gonna happen. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and not tell Chug what's going on because he will shit his panties. Oh, I'm gonna hold it up by this painting. Hey, anything going on here? No, all right. Hey Larry, check out this super gear boy. Todd made that? That's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie talkie? Oh yeah, he needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Damn, well, that's okay. Hopefully it'll help find out more about the ghosts and my curse. Yeah, agreed. Perfect, okay, we agree on this. I thought he was gonna be so mad at me. I'll be back. Maybe the treehouse. I'm gonna check. It's a long walk, but we're checking anyway. <coughs> Up we go. <coughs> Is there anything going on in this beautiful tree? Oh, oh, oh. Somebody's in the treehouse! Ah! Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? <laughs> I'm trying to like fill out the words here. I I don't I don't know. I I don't have much time. Just remember. A bed all what? You have to remember the red ball. You have to remember the red ball. Just remember the red ball. Okay, I'll remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? Uh, you have to go now. The red ball. Okay, what? I, I can't understand anything else. If you guys in the comments can solve this, that'd be super dope. Cause I don't know what's going on. The red ball. Okay, the red ball. Okay, okay, got it. Okay. Ooh. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, and then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go down. Red ball, huh? Where have I seen a red ball before? I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> At least I can make out the most important part. I think that was the point. Hey, Larry. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna tell you what happened in your treehouse, because that might be a little bit awkward, but I'm gonna go into your kitchen and see if there's anything going on in here. Ah. Oh, there's ghosts all over the place! Oh. Okay, that looked awfully satanic. What the? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Okay, that's weird. I, I'm just gonna check on Lisa. I'm, I'm really worried about her. Are you a ghost? Okay, you're still alive. That's good. That's all I needed to know. Chug, y'all, you, you okay? All right, 
one. So I checked the most haunted part. I checked Larry's. I'm gonna check Charlie's house first. Cause I, I just have some feels like something fishy is going on in here. Oh, okay. I knew it. I knew it. What's going on? What's going on? All right, that was not as satanic as the last one, but it's a sign. Um, what? Anything else? I'm scared. Nothing but a bathroom that I won't even go into because it stinks so badly. Man, you have to like really have a great time in the bathroom to make it smell so bad that even the next day I can't go in there. Is anyone in my room? I'd really appreciate it if nothing haunted was in my room because I sleep here. Okay, we're good. Dad? Dad, are you okay? Okay, Dad's okay. Oh, Gizmo? He's okay. Good. Bathroom? Gizmo's poop? Are you haunted? No? Okay. Alright. All clear. My house isn't haunted! Yeah! House isn't haunted party, Gizmo! Yeah! Oh my God. He knows. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm ready to get spooked! Oh! Yes! Is it Megan? Megan! That one didn't look good. The other two looked kind of friendly. That one did not look good. Are you still there, buddy? Okay. What I don't want is to whip this thing out around Todd and for my thing to go off. That would suck. Hey, Toddy boy. Okay. He's clean. He's on my side. It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is our friend, Charlie. But look at this photo of him on the public record. Local murderer receives death sentence. What the... That does not look like Charlie. It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Mrs. Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police reports. What? It's as if they weren't here at all. Or they like, don't even exist. What? How is that possible? I'm not sure, but I'm going to keep looking into things. Check back in a little while. Uh, okay. I'm gonna keep searching for some more supernatural stuff in the meantime. Perfect. This is weird. Are you sure you're not haunted? Why did Charlie look so weird in that picture? Was that cop I talked to a real cop or was he a weirdo? There's so many things I don't understand. I'm so nervous. All right, I might have to go and talk to that old bat who talks too much. Cause it appears that um, I'm running out of options. Miss Rosenberg, all right. Hey lady. Oh, okay. All right, get ready for a wild ride, Mrs. Rosenberg. Oh! My, what a horrific device you have. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. Oh, all right. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again and see if he's found anything. I'm getting the hell out of here. Ooh. I didn't think that old bat would be the scariest thing I've seen today. Todd, help. Todd, that was not cool. I found something interesting. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age seven, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Megan, seven, this is the same, this sounds like my Megan. Well, looks like it might be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report. Like, one day after the original was filed, stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake, that's a few miles south of here, along with her parents, says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Does Lisa wear it? What are you up to now? Glad you asked. I'm doing some more research and reaching out to other paranormal enthusiasts online. If there is some kind of malicious presence in the building, there has to be a way to deal with it, Todd. I think you and I need to hang out more often. It's cool of you to help me out with this stuff. Anytime, Sal. Okay, see ya. I love you. You know, you can have Ashley over too. The three of us can be like a little trio. You can invite Bob your fish here. 
I'm down. I gotta go to Lisa, who is sick. I feel like I've seen her wear this thing before. Hi, Chug. Lisa, 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 Lisa. You might have what I need. Lisa? No. All right. It's not Lisa. I really thought it would be. Where have I seen that thing before? Larry! You don't happen to wear a necklace, do ya? Have you seen this necklace? Hmm, I don't think so. Though it does look a little familiar. That's what I thought too. I'm pretty sure I've seen it somewhere in the building before. It belonged to Megan. I'm gonna try to find it and use it to summon her. All right, I'll come with you once you find it. Oh, well, help me find it. Sounds like a plan, Larry. Where is it? Mr. Addison. How may I help you, Sal? About Addison T. Everyone seems to love your tea. You should open up a little shop in town or something. I bet you do really well. I'm only saying this because Miss Rosenberg told me that he always wanted to do this and that he's too shy and he never leaves his room. What a fine young chap you are, Sal. You know, I don't often talk about this, but it was once my dream to do such a thing. Though, once my father passed, I decided to carry out his dream of maintaining the Addison Apartments. You're obviously doing a great job with that, with all the ghosts and stuff. Don't you think your dad would have wanted you to follow your own aspirations? Yes, I suppose he would have, though, it's much too late for that now. I couldn't possibly abandon this place. You could always sell it to someone who would take good care of it and then use that money to start your business and then maybe call the Ghostbusters. Well, come take a gander at our own little entrepreneur in the house. You are a true inspiration, young sir. However, I'm quite happy with my life here. I get to keep my father's dream going and also make my tea for the tenants. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose so. Hey, Terrence, no one has called me by that in a long time. Huh. I almost had forgotten my own name for a moment. I just want you to know that I understand what it's like to be afraid, to hide away from the world. Oh. oh. And if you ever want to talk, I'm here for you. Hey, thank you, Sal. You're a good person, a true friend. Why did that make him so nervous? Maybe it's in the lost and found? I don't know. Hey, <gasps> I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. It's in the lost and found. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay, here we go. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Here we go, it's Megan time! Megan, are you with us? Megan? Megan? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Megan? Ah. There she is, my little girl! Stop! Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles! That's not a nice word, Larry. <laughs> You'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Where have you been lately, girl? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. It's You've been the hardest person in the world to get a hold of. What, are you Miss Popular or something? I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? What do you mean by that? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Oh, do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean Mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. So Greg was the guy on the toilet who accidentally got the whole family murdered because he fell in love with Megan here's mom. Hearing that Greg brought her candy in order to win brownie points with her is kind of weird. Um, can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. Oh, yeah, he was banging your mom. So, um, what can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here, but he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. Well, what happened? I remember they had a fight and then he was sad. And then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you know what happened? Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? I, I need to, this is very important. Huh? No, I've never been fishing before, but daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait. Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad! Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. Huh? I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? I have it here. Hey, yes! Where'd you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? That's kind of a bad question, but... She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh! What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye! Wait! I... No. Megan's dad kind of sounds like a badass. And he's on his way. Shit. 
Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough, I know. We probably should get out of here, though. We're gonna need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I asked him like three times now, and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck? Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. Ooh, this stuff is starting to get real here. Am I just gonna leave Larry up there? Godspeed, Larry. Shit! Sup, brother? Uh, can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door in 301? They're nice kids and alls, but they have these real loud parties sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If yins could talk to them for me, get them a little quieter, then I could let yins borrow that crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I'm all out of clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party pooper, you know? It's not a problem, I'll be right back. See ya. All right, you little buggers. Quiet, you! Hey, assholes! Shut. All right, I'm not gonna feel bad just because you're in a wheelchair. Yo, what's up, Sal? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? It's really loud in here. I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mm, mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. All right. There you go. That, I think this is perfect. I think this is, this is exactly what you need. All right, he might not, uh, he might not like this choice. I'm gonna try this. How about this? No, oh, this isn't really my thing. How about this? Come on. And nice to fall asleep to. How about this? Dude, I think this would put everyone to sleep. Good point, good point. Point taken, all right. Not that. You know, a little classical? How about this? Huh, you know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think this could work. Great, all right, perfect. Nice knowing you, CJ. I'm just gonna go through your stuff. Who are you? Hi, Azaria. Hey Z, what's up? Hey Sally Face, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Oh, can I take a look? What's the quietest thing I can choose? Be my guest. Musical chairs? How about... No. Charades? No. Duck Duck Moose? That could be pretty loud. Dodgeball? That's even worse. Ooh, telephone. <laughs> How about you guys play a little telephone? Hmm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. Oh, you guys are gonna have the classiest party of your lives tonight. Are you haunted? All right, I'm out of here. Godspeed, good luck with the party, guys. CJ, you're a cool cat. Oh, wait, wait, there's one more person. You. Hey, Sierra, what are you trying to prove? Oh, hey, Sally Face. I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Oh, is it okay if I look over your list? <laughs> no ulterior motives here. Sure. D&D? Dungeons and Dragons? That's pretty good. Movie night, that could be a little loud. That could be a loud chess tournament. Karaoke is absolutely not. Debate? Okay, no shouting matches. No singing. Chess? Perhaps. Maybe they want to do D&D. I mean, Dungeons & Dragons, pretty quiet. Pretty cool. We'll see. How about Dungeons & Dragons? Eh, we usually do D&D &D on Thursdays, so I sort of want to do something different tonight. Chess tournament. Boy, go for it. Oh, it has been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. You guys are gonna have the most boring party ever. I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. Now give me the crowbar! Sup, Brenna? I worked it all out with the college students and they're gonna have a much more low-key, quiet party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sarah would be so happy too. Last time our wedding picture almost blowed up to peace. Your wedding picture? Oh, picture, of course. I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for use. One second. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Thank you. <gasps> ah, thanks you too. I love it. All right. 504, here we go, baby! We're going! Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> in we go! Larry, you still in here? Okay, we are in 504. This is all boarded up, but you know what? It's time. I should be able to pull these boards off with the crowbar. Yes! Let's go! Oh, I'm so scared! Where's Larry? I can't do this by myself! Is anybody in there? Oh boy, okay, here we go. Ooh, broken mattress, broken shelf, huge hole in the wall. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk around with this real quick before going into that hole. I don't wanna go into that hole. Ah, okay. Uh, no, what is this? <gasps> oh no, 
The mattress is possessed. Uh, Stacy? Are you okay? You don't look okay. Are you okay? Oh yeah, she doesn't talk much according to Megan. Ah! Jeez! Alrighty then. Is there anything else? Is the cupboard haunted? No? Whole time. There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's room on the other side. Oh, I'd love to go in. Crawl through the creepy hole, point of no return? Fuck yeah. I'm scared. There's a noose right here! <laughs> Hello? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Follow me on Twitter at GloomyCassie. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!